Henry Fielding's Joseph Andrews as a parody of Richard the Son's Pamela. Samuel uh, Richard Son's novel uh, Pamela is uh, basically about the importance of uh, chastity or uh, purity or uh, virtue as a way to secure a, a prosperous marriage or uh, to secure uh, marrying a rich husband. In the novel, Pamela marries Mr. B, or Squire B, despite the sufferings he caused her uh, as a result of his repeated attempts of uh, seduction. Preservation of chastity is seen as a way to achieve upward mobility, that is to say, to obtain a higher social status or to climb up in a social class. This is a situation, of course, which is not very virtuous. Henry Fielding's Joseph Andrews, published in 1772, in relation to Samuel Richardson's Pamela, published in 1740. It has been claimed that Fielding wrote his novel as a response or a parody to Pamela, according to several allusions or references included in his novel Joseph Andrews. To describe the relationship between these two texts, Joseph Andrews and Pamela, the notion or the concept or the idea of hypertextuality coined or introduced by the French literary scholar Gerard Jeannette will be used. Hypertextuality describes the overlapping of two different texts through transformation and the imitation of text B to text A. Joseph Andrews or text B imitates and transforms Pamela or text A with the aim of mocking hypocrisy of course, together with other aspects. Henry Fielding's first prose fiction, Shamila, is a parody of and a direct response to the stylistic failings and the moral hypocrisy that Fielding saw in Richardson's Pamela, which means that Henry Fielding uh, parodies uh, Pamela in two of his uh, literary works, uh, Shamila and uh, Joseph Andrews. In 1742, Fielding published a parody of Pamela in which he mocked uh, Pamela's excessive focus on uh, uh, chastity or her purity or showing off or boasting with her virtue. Through his protagonist, Joseph Andrews, the supposed brother of Pamela. Parody uh, as a term in literature uh, is an imitation of the style and the manner of a particular writer. Here, Henry Fielding tries to imitate the style of Samuel Richardson. However, parody is typically critical of works perceived weakness and seeks to ridicule them. 
which means that this imitation is not based on admiration with the first writer's literary style, but it's based on a criticism of his weakness and a desire to ridicule or mock this weakness. According to Gerard Janat, the French scholar, the term parody goes back to Aristotle. But of course, at the time of Aristotle, it has a rather different meaning. Its meaning was developed later on. Though Joseph Andrews in some way continues the satire of Pamela, it quickly outgrow that narrow purpose, which means that uh, Joseph Andrew as a novel is more complex or richer work of art, uh, which um, is not uh, only exclusive to parodying Pamela. The plot of Joseph Andrews begins with a direct link to Richard Sun's novel. Pamela has married Mr. B, now Mr. Bobby. Mr. B in Pamela is called Mr. Bobby in Joseph Andrews. And Fielding has endowed her with a brother, Joseph Andrews, who is in the service uh, of uh, Miss, uh, Mr. Bobby's uncle, Sir Thomas Bobby. Sir Thomas' wife occupies a role analogous or similar to that of Mr. B in Pamela, which means she is the protagonist, the seducer who chases Joseph, her footman, all the time. As she soon sets about trying to seduce the physically charming Andrews, so uh, she assumes the same role of Mr. B, who uh, chases his uh, uh, beautiful or pretty servant Pamela. Just as Pamela was pursued by Mr. B, Joseph is seduced by Lady Bobby. Uh, who is uh, recently widowed the aunt of Mr. B, which leads him to run away to save his uh, chastity. So uh, the reaction of uh, Joseph is different from the reaction of his uh, sister uh, Pamela in relation to the seduction attempts. Uh, Joseph uh, ran away uh, uh, or escapes uh, from uh, the, the house of his uh, mistress uh, in order to preserve uh, his uh, chastity or uh, purity, unlike uh, Pamela, who remains uh, in her master's house. Joseph's self-conscious uh, virtue or uh, which uh, me, in other words, uh, Joseph is aware of his uh, own purity, uh, raises laughs uh, by transferring Pamela's signature to a young man. In other words, in Pamela, the novel, Pamela, the character, always uh, speaks about her own virtue. In this novel, Joseph Andrews, it's her brother Joseph who always speaks of his virtue. Nevertheless, there is a great difference between Joseph and his sister because Joseph is justifies in his opposition to those detestable hypocrites. Uh, Lady Bobby and Mrs. Slipslop, the housekeeper, and his pursuit of virtue has no ulterior motive, which means uh, Joseph um, uh, does not have um, 
any aim or target from opposing his mistress as does his sister Pamela. She resists her master's attempts of seducing her in order to force him to marry her. But this is not the case with Joseph. Fielding believes that immorality and hypocrisy is not exclusive to a particular gender. Women too can be immoral. Joseph Andrews mimics Richard Son's epistolary form, which means both novels are written in letters form, in which the story is told in letters or journals by the characters themselves. While Pamela keeps sending letters to her parents, Joseph wrote letters for Pamela. Joseph's marriage to Fanny, uh, the beautiful servant at uh, Lady Bobby, uh, appears at the beginning to be cross-class or mismatch. Uh, in a proper uh, marriage because Joseph is supposed to be raised uh, to the upper class as a result of the marriage of his sister Pamela to Squire B. Fanny at this stage was a poor servant. Ironically, it's Pamela who rejects the marriage for this reason. To conclude, Fielding's Joseph Andrews parodies Richard Son's Pamela in its epistolary form, themes of seduction and cross-class marriage, and characters. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.